Hello, uh, today I'm going to explain for you some of the basic definitions uh, of that are useful for porous media characterization, uh, and those are particle density, uh, bulk density, porosity, uh, void ratio, volume, and gravimetric water content, and saturation. Okay, so suppose you have a porous medium that includes three phases uh, the, that are presented by the brown, uh, uh, blue and white color here. Brown stands for the solid phase, blue for the liquid phase, and white for the uh, air phase. Okay, and suppose that uh, you have the mass and volume of each phase separately. Okay, so the particle density or the solid phase density is defined as uh, the mass of the solid phase, ms, divided by the volume of the solid phase, vs, okay? ms divided by vs is equal to rho s, which is the particle density or the density of the solid phase, okay? There is another thing called bulk density, another definition that is called bulk density, which is defined as the ratio of the dry mass, ms, or mass of the solid, mass of the dry solid phase, divided by the total volume of the porous media. And, uh, and note that the total volume of the porous media include the volume of the solid phase plus the volume of the air phase plus the volume of the liquid phase. Okay. Another definition belongs to porosity, and that is defined as the ratio of the pore or void volume, the volume of the void space, divided by the total volume. So porosity is defined as VF, standing uh, for the volume of the fluid, which includes the volume of the air phase, plus the volume of the liquid phase, divided by the total volume, and total volume is equal to the uh, volume of the solid phase, volume of the air phase, and volume of the liquid phase, okay? And another definition uh, is for gravimetric liquid content, gravimetric or gravimetric water content, okay? And that is defined as mass of the liquid or mass of water, uh, in case if your liquid is water, related relative to the oven dry mass of solid, okay? So theta m, that is the gravimetric liquid content is equal to the mass of the liquid phase ml divided by mass of the dry solid phase ms. Okay, another definition is the volumetric liquid content or uh, volumetric water content, uh, and that is defined as the volume of the liquid, VL, related to the total volume. And we already uh, mentioned that the total volume is equal to the volume of the solid phase, volume of the air phase, and volume of the liquid phase. Okay, so theta V will be equal to VL divided by VS plus VA plus VL. Okay, another definition is for the liquid saturation, and that is defined as the volume of the liquid, VL, divided by volume of the void space, or fluid volume, which is equal to volume of the air phase plus volume of the liquid phase. Okay, void ratio is defined as the volume of the void space, which is the um, the volume of the air phase plus volume of the liquid phase divided by volume of the solid phase. So that is the definition of the uh, void ratio. And this will be equal to, instead of VF is equal to VF, instead of VS, I write VT, that is the total volume, minus VF. Because volume of the solid plus VF, which is the volume of the fluid that includes volume of the air plus volume of the liquid, will be equal to total volume. Therefore, I can write VS is equal to VT minus VF. Okay? And note that if I divide the numerator and denominator of this uh, fraction by, by VT, the total volume, what you get, VF divided by VT by definition that is equal to porosity. And VT divided by VT will be equal to 1. VF divided by VT will be equal to the uh, porosity. So void ratio, you can as well write it as porosity divided by 1 minus porosity. Okay? So using these definitions, you can derive some extra uh, equations, extra relationship. For example, you can easily show that theta V, that is uh, the volumetric water content, is equal to gravimetric water content, that is theta M, times bulk density divided by uh, liquid density. Or you can show the porosity is equal to 1 minus bulk density divided by uh, density of the solid phase. Okay, and I'm going to derive this equation 
for you now okay so let's drive theta v let's show theta v volumetric water content is equal to gravimetric water content times bulk density divided by density of the liquid okay so we know that the theta m the gravimetric water content is equal to mass of the liquid phase divided by mass of the solid phase okay and we know that the bulk density is equal to mass of the solid phase divided by total volume that is the definition and we know that the density of the liquid is equal to mass of the liquid phase divided by volume of the liquid phase right so you can this you can write this one as ml divided by ms times ms times vl divided by uh, ml times vt okay this ms is out this ml is out so therefore this uh, expression will be equal to vl divided by vt and by definition volume of the liquid divided by the total volume is equal to volumetric water content okay or we can as well show that porosity is equal to one minus bulk density rho uh, p divided by rho s okay to do so all you need to do is to need to you need to substitute the definition of rho b and rho s here that is one minus instead of rho b i can write mass of the solid mass of the dry solid divided total divided by total volume divided by rho s that is the density of the solid phase which is equal to mass of the solid phase divided by volume of the solid phase which will be equal to one minus ms times vs divided by uh, ms times vt this ms is out by this ms and that will be equal to one minus vs divided by vt which will be equal to vt and here you have vt minus vs so total volume minus volume of the solid phase will be equal to volume of the flu uh, fluid phase which is combination of the which is the summation of the volume of the air and volume of the liquid divided by total volume and by definition we know this is equal to porosity which is the proof for this equation okay so now i'm going to solve you an example so that you can see how to apply this equation and the example is the diameter of a cylindrical container is 0.1 meter okay so you have a cylindrical container the diameter is the diameter here is 0.1 meter and its height is 0.3 meter so the height of this cylinder is 0.3 meter okay packed with spherical particles what was the gravimetric liquid content if the wet mass of the particles was 4.12 kilogram and the dry mass was 3.18 kilogram and the second part of the question is what was the bulk density third part is third part of the question is what was the volumetric liquid content and the last part of the question is what was the porosity the weight ratio the void ratio and the degree of saturation and assume the particle density is uh, 2650 kilogram per cubic meter okay you can um, easily solve this question by simply writing down the equations we already discussed so the for the Part one that was about the gravimetric liquid content. We have an equation uh, saying that theta m gravimetric liquid content is equal to mass of the liquid divided by mass of the solid. Okay, and the mass of the liquid is equal to the mass of the wet porous media, which is given in the question 4.12 minus mass of the dry solid or dry porous medium, which is dry porous medium, which is 3.18 divided by mass of the solid which is 3.18 mass of the solid is basically mass of the oven dry solid phase or porous medium and this will be equal to 0.295 so that will be the um, that will be the gravimetric water content okay the second part of the question was about the bulk density and we know the bulk density rho b is equal to mass of the solid divided by total volume okay which will be equal to 3.18 divided by uh, the total volume and we know the total volume for a cylinder is equal to area of the cross section times the height which will be equal to pi 
r square times height which will be equal to pi the radius is given in the question that is 0.5 with the power of 2 because the diameter was 0.1 therefore the radius is 0 0.05 times the height which is 0 0.3 and that will be equal to 2.35 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meter okay so now you can substitute this vt uh, into this equation therefore the rho b the bulk density will be equal to 318 divided by 2.35 times 10 to the minus 3 which will be equal to uh, 2.35 sorry that will be equal to uh, 1353 kilogram per cubic meter okay so that is the bulk density okay and the third part of the question was about volumetric liquid content. So we already derived an equation relating the volumetric water content to gravimetric water content and bulk density and liquid density. That is theta V is equal to theta M times rho B divided by rho L, which will be equal to 0.295. We had already calculated theta M in the part one times bulk density which is 1353 three, and liquid density they assume the density of the liquid is 1000 that is the density of water okay which will be equal to 0.399 which is more or less equal to 0.4 okay or 40 percent that will be the volumetric water content okay and the last part of this question was about calculating porosity, void ratio, and saturation. So we know porosity epsilon is equal to 1 minus rho b divided by rho s, which will be equal to 1 minus rho b, the bulk density is equal to 1, 3, 5, 3 divided by rho s, that is the part or solid phase density, which is given in the question, which is 2,650, which will be equal to 49 percent or 0.49 okay that will be the porosity and then another part of the question was about the void ratio and we have an equation for void ratio relating void ratio to porosity that is epsilon uh, e void ratio is equal to epsilon porosity divided by one minus porosity which will be equal to 0.49 divided by one minus point four nine okay and that will be 0.96 okay or 96 percent that is the void ratio and the last part of the question was about saturation the liquid saturation and we know liquid saturation s is equal to volumetric water content divided by porosity okay which will be equal to volumetric water content we already calculated as uh, 0.399 and porosity we calculated as 0.49 and that will be equal to uh, 0.81 okay or 81 percent okay and that's the solution to this question i hope uh, you found this video helpful uh, please feel free to subscribe uh, uh, into this channel so that you get updated when i upload new videos thank you